I don't give a shit tonight. I just, you know, I don't mind part of being sleeping it tonight. So I think I'm just going to put my foil over this, my air mattress on that. In that corner, sheltered. Yeah, stuff it. Beautiful daybreak. Start to pack up my home sweet home. Coffee first. <laughs> Whoa, that's a stunning sunrise. Wow. It's like the sky's on fire. Oh, joy. Back to my coffee. Cool. So, sheltered from the wind last night. That actually wasn't freezing cold. Had a good sleep. Woke up just at daybreak and it was bloody beautiful. And it's turning out to be a glorious day. But still feel a little bit fatigued, you know, when you're travelling full time on the roads just certain days after, I don't know, 10 days or so where it kind of just hits you a little bit. But no time for fatigue today. So heading into the Remarkables. Thanks to some South Australian adventure riders give me the heads up on trails to take. And fortunately, half of them I sort of had plugged in. So I managed to join the dots. And I've got this coloured trail all weaving my way through the Remarkables all the way out to Wilmington. So we will see how far I get today, but I'm starting off with a cattle trail here in Red Hill. All right, girls warmed up, and I'm just going to kick off straight away. Just want to get into it. Get into it. So that starts just down there. All right, darling girl. Let the adventure continue. I cleaned my chain, lubed it again. Good to go. Good to go straight away off the back. boot. I've been bitten on the thigh just recently by a spider as well. So I, mate, there's nothing I haven't been bitten on on this journey. Wasps, ticks, spiders, ants. Oh yeah, there's a few spidey webs there. Okay, let's see what we got. <laughs> ah, dear, oh dear. Dirt life. Figment of my imagination. <laughs> oh, that was lucky. That was lucky. Okay, carry on. So that's the Remarkables mountain range heading up to. But yeah, I thought the cattle trail would be dirt. I was like all excited. But it's just blacktop. Means to an end. Carry on, I'm safe. Come back to doing what you're doing. <laughs> They weren't as fresh as the ones that we had in China, but they hit the spot. <laughs> All right, fuel and out of here. get away. <laughs> Carry on. Biscuit.
just take some air out. A little bit skatey. Oh yeah. That'll work. Twenty-two, twenty-five. That'll work. Straight across to more dirt. Contact me. I've just heard from my beautiful little Jess star. So Jess is the son of my beautiful, beautiful sister from another Mr. Cassie, who passed away a few years ago from a brain tumour. Her and beautiful Michael. bestest friend in the whole wide world and uh, grew her wings and have no doubt she's on this journey with me so just miss calling her back I'll give him a call tonight god I miss him and Rem and Tay and Michael so he's my son like an adopted son <laughs> oh I love the young ones I've got so much zest in my life still not like us bloody miserable old adults well not this one I'm still just a child uh -huh. On that note, carry on. Uh -huh.
so much fun unloaded. So much fun. It would be horror mud. <laughs> horror. Put my road map feed on. And carry on. Thanks, my mate Bob, Bob Talbot, my big uh, guardian angel, gentle giant. It's going to be in Wilmington at four o'clock, so I've got to make it to Wilmington by four o'clock. Can't miss catching up with him. Okay, get up to there.
definitely work with that. Like I did all the roofing at MIMS as well, the two of us. I'm an expert at roofing. You know, just a little bit of maintenance. Veggie patch, some chickens. I can work with that. I can work with that. All right, so that's the end of Block 9 Road. And now we're on to White Park Road. And we go up to the highway, bang a right, and then continue on the trails. Heading north towards my buddy Bob. I'm coming, Mr. Talbot, I'm coming. I really love that. That's stone work. That. So just stopped to replace my GoPro battery and in that time two cars passed this way, one passed that way, four wheel drives and every single one of them stopped to ask if I was okay. I'll tell you what, this is the state of the gentleman. <laughs> How good's that? Beautiful people. So sweet. Alright, I'm just about near Melrose. I was just looking at the map and there's no trails through that national park that I can ride. So to actually meet Bob in Wilmington, it's the black top from Melrose to Wilmington. It's a bit of but anyway. Can't wait to catch up my mate Bob. Bob. I'm coming Bob. And there's Mount Remarkable. That's remarkable. <laughs> Give it to there, folks. <laughs> All right, getting hungry. Time to eat. Music back on. Oh, my milky chance again. Yum, so. Yeah, we're in here pretty quick at the moment. Oh, let me get your beer. We're celebrating. My guardian angel, Bob. 
So we were just having a chit chat and I finally got around to thanking him. So we were in Mataranka, met him, and um, and I was really like churning, like, you know, I really wanted to do, and he's corrected me now. So I had it right the first time, Limon National Park, not Lyman people. And um, and I really wanted to do it. And I knew if I didn't do it, I would regret it. So um, met Bob, had a meal, had a beer, and he said, mate, go do it. And here's my number. If you get stuck, I'll come out and rescue you. And I was like, yay! <laughs> So that was just the, you know, the guardian angel that I needed to go and take on that challenge. And it was freaking gold. It was like totally up there with one of my absolute best journeys. Thanks for that, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been hanging out to catch up with him again. Now he's got this truck and his bloody cart and bloody caravans and cars from Alice to South Australia to Melbourne to everywhere. He's flat out, just absolutely flat out. So probably crossed paths a couple of times. Um, I'd, I'd I say good day, but I can't get a word in. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Bob. Say hello to everyone. Hello. <laughs> so when I was out um, doing the Savannah Way and I camped out the Robinson, um, Robinson River Crossing and the helicopter coming over and I was like, it's all right, Bob. Bob, it's all right. I'm all good. I'm safe. This is the Bob that I was referring to. And every time I do something, Nally, I go, all right, slow down, Ros, and go, yeah, Bob, I'm slowing down, like Bob was on my shoulder. <laughs> this is the Bob I was referring to. <laughs> so, so, so good to catch up again. So, yeah, when I head up to Alice, I'll um, bloody catch up with you there when I'm up at Fink. Done, for sure. Bob was just telling me his story. So, um, after I left him in Mataranka, he had a fall. And he, he fractured all the vertebrae <laughs> in his back and broke a couple of ribs and dislocated his knee. So it was pretty fucked for three months. But um, how long after that you went for your ride on your DT 175, 125, 175? Uh, about a month. About a month after. And um, went up this big gnarly hill and coming over the other side, it's called the Widow Maker. <laughs> and what happened, Bob? Uh, we had a little bit of a tumble. <laughs> going down a gully. It dug in, threw him over the handlebars. He landed in in the gully, lucky, because a bike come tumbling down over the hill. And like a fucking choo-choo train on the railway track, just skimmed over the top of him. But uh, didn't do survived your back. It. Survived it. Yep. Survived the widow maker. <laughs> <laughs> Bet you the wife's happy about that. She was, I reckon. Yeah, so he's bloody he's sold the bike now, so he's bikeless. But he wouldn't have time anyway. He's freaking yeah. always working all the time. <laughs> Oh, stoked. Absolutely stoked. So, yeah, we'll catch up with him again. You'll see him all again in Alice, definitely for sure. Got to meet the beautiful missus. Yep. The one that puts up with... You puts know. up with me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I'm behind every good man to be the better woman, eh? <laughs> Allegedly, yeah. Allegedly. <laughs> all right, let's get another drink down. Yep. Here goes my buddy. <laughs> all right, we're going to um, keep plowing on to corn tonight. Be out there. And look at that. <laughs> Let's go, Artemis. Let's get Bob. Run him down. I just, you know, could not stop looking at the Flinders. It was just constantly like calling my name. Oh my God, I'm almost debating of going to think through the Flinders. I just freaking love it. I love it. Such a specky spot. Hey, number one pole position for me tonight. Take that a little bit further so I can lock it to the pole. 
Not that I don't think I need to in this town. But anyway, I'll do it anyway. What day is it? Why is it so quiet in town? What day is it? What day is it? Where is everyone? It's a Thursday. God, you'd think it was a Sunday. Okay. Street's quiet, Bob. Take up 10 car parking spaces. <laughs> what a rig. What a rig. <laughs> so we're in corn. And you know how it all works now. The unplanned plans are always subject to change at the twist of the throttle. So I was twisting the throttle. We were coming back from... Will Peanut? No. Will Peanut. Will Wilmington. And uh, the Flinders Range is to the right. Oh my, I was nearly crying looking at it. I could hear it calling my name from there. So, <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's what it was doing. Do it again. Bob. That's it. That's what it was doing. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, it was just a really emotional, overwhelming feeling. And I didn't do enough with Mark last time. We had to bolt through there because of Rona. And uh, so I didn't do enough of it and I really want to do it. I really wanted to do Will Paint a Pound as well. So anyway, Bob's just given me a mud mat. We couldn't find a bit of paper, but anyway, nothing like a uh, Inigo wine box. So hold up your mud mat, Bob. This is how they do it out in the country here. That's it. No one needs Hema. No one needs Max Me or anything. This is how you do it out in the country. <laughs> I think I'll go to the Flinders to Alice people. <laughs>